For all of you who work outside, this was another challenging day. From construction workers at the soccer stadium to the folks who check parking meters, some have no option about staying inside. But we noticed today the city giving employees masks to wear if they wanted and extra breaks. Jessica Batten is one of a handful of other people I saw wearing a mask in downtown. And I thought it's just time. I think more people should be wearing them. She said the bad air started to affect her lungs. She thinks more of us should follow her lead. Yeah, I think I'm just comfortable with it, especially because I've spent time traveling in Asia and I know that poor air quality is something that they deal with a lot in Asia. And so it's more normal there. It's not normal here. And many of us feel the impacts of that smoke. I had to actually use my inhaler yesterday and I usually don't have to use that unless I'm really sick. A lot of us are talking with our doctors. The smoke is definitely affecting a lot of my patients. Tracy Dahl is an optometrist. She said the little bits of things hanging in the air can irritate your eyes and make your contacts wear out faster than normal. She recommends wearing sunglasses and using a drop of artificial tear in each eye before and after you go out. I thought yuck. <laughs> Kathy Gidley is executive director of the Oregon branch of the American Lung Association. She's so serious about avoiding the smoke, she made us do the interview inside. And she said protecting your lungs is important on these smoke-filled days. Wildfire smoke has very, very small particulates. And people think, oh, if I wear a standard dust mask, it's going to protect me. It really doesn't. The particulates that are in the air right now are so tiny that they slip through those types of masks. So maybe if we all start wearing masks, we won't feel so funny about it. Take care of your lungs now. They'll take care of you later.